right guys, Zalba Chavis back with you for, with Salty Reflections. Got my son Daniel, he's gonna be our captain today. We're gonna take these uh, four crab pots out to some deeper water. I told you guys, if we got enough likes on the last video that we were gonna take these uh, crab pots out to deeper water and see if we can get some crabs. And that's what we're gonna do, stick with us and we'll show you what we get. deeper water this bigger river um, we've already took the time to get our crab pots baited we got all our lines out we're gonna run right down the edge of this bank we're gonna put these crab pots out and uh, we'll let them sit overnight we'll come back tomorrow and we'll pull them up and as we pull them i'll be giving y'all the video on it regulations for yourself so what we're going to do we've come about 50 to 75 yards and we're going to just throw a nut out right here and we're going to stretch these things out about what maybe 200 yards number two everyone to hit the like button and I especially appreciate the ones the new people that have subscribed to the channel we got a lot of things that we're doing down here in South Carolina we're doing fishing sailing crabbing seashelling we're just doing a lot of things that we love to do down here nothing in particular but all of it involves stuff to own the water There may be even a video to come where we're not on the water. So again, we've come maybe 75 or 100 yards. We'll throw another. I'm going to get Daniel to put his captain hat on for you guys. And I'm going to let him... Uh, get his opportunity to put out one of these crab pots. I 
I like that shirt and hat, Daniel. <laughs> I don't do it for myself. I do it for the ladies. <laughs> He's just joking. He's got a wife. He's got kids. We're just out here having fun. He just thought it might be entertaining, you know, to wear this shirt and hat for you guys. Just something uh, to get a laugh out of you guys. Whenever you read. So we got these crab pots set out. I'm thinking we should stretch them out about 150 to 200 yards. And just like I said, stick with us. We're going to set them out 24 hours. Even though I know y'all won't see that in the video, we will be right back with you guys pulling them. So guys, we're back out here to pull up these four crab pots that we put out approximately 48 hours ago. I got Olivia with me today, my little granddaughter, and I got Stephanie. She's going to be helping me drive the boat and get these pots pulled and see what we got. Stephanie will give you a look around. We are in a bigger river. Just like I told you, we are in deeper water, but we've set the crab pots off to the uh, side of the deeper water, just so the boat traffic, the uh, buoys and stuff wouldn't uh, interfere with boat traffic. So, Olivia, you wanna help pull this one? Okay, pull it like this, hand, pull it. I don't feel nothing in here, Olivia. This is a big towel. I hope so. <laughs> there's fish in there. There's fish in there. Oh, I don't think there's going to be any fish in there. Maybe the fish that we put in there for bait because we was using that spot tail carcass. Comes. You want to get down? So, I'm seeing three, six, seven, eight crabs in here. Also, guys, right here in the bottom corner. Got two whelk shells. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this off. Uh, old bait out. Couple more little whelk right here. Let Livia see this one. See the little hermit crab in here, Olivia? Yes, a seashell. But look what's in it. It's got a hermit crab. Let's we'll see if he'll come out. Come out. Well, look there. So there's your hermit crab. So that's pretty neat, ain't it, Olivia? Yeah, Hermit crab. Yeah, hermit. So guys, these little shells that we get like this with these live animals, that we just put them back. You can see those bigger ones also have hermit crabs in them. But um, I see maybe three or four, possibly five keepers in this pot.
crab when they're cold don't want to move around as much. So we have to shake them. Oh, it's pretty hard to get them out. There's the spot tail bass carcasses that we've been using. Wow, that one crab in there is really big. Right here, that's a huge crab. Yeah, yeah, cannon crab. And this his house. Yeah, and two seashells, yeah, you're right. Well, he's running down there. What's his house, Eva? It's a water dance water. So guys, <laughs> stick with me one second. I want to give you a measurement on this really big blue crab that's in there. I want to see exactly how big he is. I'm going to put him on top of the cooler right there and get a measurement on him. And we'll sort through them real quick and see how many keepers we have using this device again. But this is the one I'm talking about right here. Really nice size crab. And what we're going to do, we're going to measure from point to point. I'm going to flip him over. Big, nice, number one male blue crab. And he is, he's seven inches. See the point right there on the side right here? I got the other one on the zero. That's a seven inch male blue crab. Really nice. Look here guys. Here's that hermit crab in the bigger shell. Look at this thing, Olivia. Come here. What? Come see it. That's him that, in water. That's a hermit crab. Look at him. Yeah, that big shell. That is a big crab. That is a keeper, you can see from point to point, over five inches. Small crab. Small, I believe. I'm gonna check him. He's about four and three quarters. Always grab him right here at the back. Or that's where I grab them. Small crab. Point to point. That's a keeper. Small crab. And another. And there's another. He's down in there. Another hermit crab inside of the whelk shell. You see? Anytime you get a chance to bring a little kid out and let them see things that go on on the water, guys. Go ahead and get them out there. They love it. We're going to head on to the next pot. Got any in this one? Yeah. It feels kind of heavy. What you think? Feel it. blue crab in it. Maybe this stone crab will scare them off. I can't really say. I'll give you a look at it right here in a second. Thank you. 
So guys, these stone crab, they are very tasty, but I'm not sure exactly on the regular the rules and regulations in the area. Um, cause we really don't catch a lot of them. This is one of the first ones that I've caught in a crab trap in a long time. But I do know there's a certain measurement on the claw that you, it has to be. And when you do catch one of these in South Carolina and he has two claws, um, you can pull just one of the claws off. Uh, and then you have to release the crab. If it already only has one claw, you have to um, go ahead and release it just like it is. But these, these right here, stone crab, you definitely don't want him to grab your finger. Um, I've heard stories where, you know, these things can just grab stuff and pinch it in half really easily. But here he is. He's a beauty. Very pretty. Yeah. We're going to let him go right here, Stan. So, we on to the third pot. crabs in this pot and another really good sized stone crab and he's in the pot and we have blue crab in here so and look here look at the little small fiddler here you go Olivia he won't grab you put your hand down hold your hand down Show them what you got. Yeah, <laughs> you got a crab? <coughs> yeah, Stephanie, she found another one. There you go. Turn around. Show everybody what you got. Open your hands. Open your hands. Open them up. Open them up like this. So they can see it. So Olivia's got her two crabs. You happy? Yeah. Good. You are happy. Oh goodness, man. this is another, another really nice male blue crab here. Ah, uh, yeah. They know a big one. Really nice. Yeah. So from point to point, guys, I can tell by this measuring device, nope. this would be a number I one male blue cat. crab. But and look at the barnacle on him. It's huge. Really it's big. And get a measurement on him. 
he's not going to be quite as big point to point because his points don't stick out as much but right here he's over six inches nice craft so there's four and this one here is looking a little short He's right there at it. He is a hair from making it, guys. But me, I'm not taking no chances with him. I'll let him go. I'd rather throw him back than to get charged by something. And those three right there, guys, I can look at them and tell. They're all small. He's not making it. Look at that old lady. Wow. Yeah, that for it. Yeah, that for it. Yeah. Tower. You got to be careful with them, don't you? Yeah. Because they will grab you. So all the, all the other blue crab in here, look guys, there's still five more in there. Yeah, I this know. one right here has got some longer points on it. And I will go ahead and just give you a look. He's still four, about four and three quarter. Same thing here. This is the one I want y'all to see. Another one of those big stone crab. And guys, I'm just like I was saying, I'm, be, I'm being really careful with this. I would rather this seven inch blue crab to grab me than let this stone crab grab me. And again, guys, I'm really not too sure about the measurements on the claws. And just to be safe, I don't take any chances. I'm going to let him go. Along with those three right here. three pots. One was really, really close, but he wasn't close enough for us. He didn't make the lift. Let's head on to the last pot. We'll get it. Olivia, just stay right there so you can see these crab when they come up. If we have any in here. A picture of it. Nope. There. Guys, if you like the crabbing videos, do us a favor, go ahead and hit that like. And also, if you want to see more crabbing videos, we have a good many more on the channel now. We're still building them up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
watch all of our crabbing videos be pretty impressed i think about about the amount that we catch during the summertime versus what we're catching right now so i'm sorting by eye small crab one two three four This one's a keeper. That one there's gonna be a keeper. Another number one male blue crab. In our area. Small crab. A little feisty. You gotta watch him. And guys, I sometimes I get I get pinched by these crabs too. Um, I do, you know, know how to grab them, but sometimes they're a little faster than I am. Look at that little one. Look at the bottom. You see right here? You see the the V shape, the big round V shape, that is a female blue crab. And another way you can tell, even though this was a small one, look at the red on the claws. Most of the time, the females are going to have red on the tips of the claws. So I can see uh, another little hermit crab in here, down in here also. But look at the pretty little whelk shell. Pretty well shell. And this is an older one, but it's still occupied. So let's go count. Guys, this one crab right here, he's upside down in the cooler. We're not going very far. If we was, I would like to flip him over. I still might, there we go. So you can see, we got, we got a few um, nice crab in here just enough that me and Stephanie and Olivia we can go back and you know cook us some uh, crab tonight that's all we came for to show you guys another crabbing video I promised you on the last one that if enough people liked the video and watched it and subscribed that I would do it I try to stick to my word if you want me to keep making these crabbing videos be sure to hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for me. I appreciate it.